we're about to perform female urinary catheterization. The first thing, there are specific differences besides the anatomy between the female and the male patient for urinary catheterization. The first thing is on the female patient, the legs would be in what is called the frog leg position in order to uh, present the perineal area the way we need it to be. And so the female will be in the frog leg position. As you can see, we have already opened our kit. I've already open gloved. I've already draped the patient. I've already tested the balloon and I've have already lubed the um, catheter. I do wanna talk, this is the, the, the kit we used to show you the parts was the square kit. This is the rectangular kit. I wanna talk about this lubricating gel. Some people, now you wanna, it's okay to dispense all of this into an area on your prep tray, okay? But some people remove this green plunger or whatever color it is, remove this plunger, leaving all of the gel in there and simply stick the catheter into and advance it into the entire syringe and let it set there. So that is one option. You will see people do it a couple different ways. Um, we're going to go with that I actually dispense this out into a place in the prep kit. Okay, the next thing you need to know is that you always want to retract the anatomy with your non-dominant hand. So I am right-handed, so that means I'm gonna be using my right hand to utilize and work with all of the components. I'm gonna use my left hand to retract. So on the female patient, remember, we are, the, the goal is of course for this catheter to be inserted into the urethra and therefore advanced into the bladder. But females have another opening down there called the vagina. And so you have to make sure that this catheter does not go inadvertently go into the vagina. If after you've prepped, this catheter goes into the vagina, you would have to get a whole new kit and start over. Okay, the other thing you wanna make sure is that, uh, so we're first gonna talk about the prepping. So once I have retracted the anatomy, I will not move this non-dominant hand. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to retract the labia, okay, by opening it up. And this is a little difficult on these mannequins, but I'm gonna do it the best I can. Open it up and I'm gonna keep my hand there. The next thing I'm going to do with my dominant hand is I'm going to use my tissue forceps that are in my prep kit, and I'm going to, I've already poured my um, antiseptic solution on each of these cotton balls. I'm going to take one cotton ball at a time, and I'm going to start at the top where the urethra is, and I'm going to swipe in one downward motion and discard it. And I'm going to do this for each of the four or five cotton balls that are provided in the kit. So again, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna swipe in one downward motion and discard. By starting here and swiping downward, you're getting the entire area there. You're getting the urethra. So you're swiping downward, starting at the urethra, downward, and now we're done with the prep. My hand does not move. The next thing is to advance the catheter. Now, the female urethra is shorter than the male, so you only need to advance this catheter about two or three inches. So I have lubed up the tip of this catheter, and now I'm going to place it in the urethra and I'm going to advance it two or three inches or until I see urine. If for some reason I do not see urine, what I mean by see urine is you'll start to see urine in the tube. If you don't see urine, you can, without moving your hand that is retracting the labia, you can simply with your forearm lean on the bladder 
to see if you are in the bladder to advance the urine. Okay, so I've advanced it two or three in inches. I see urine. Now it is time to inflate the balloon. This is what keeps it suspended in the bladder trigon area. So in these particular um, mannequins, we are not able to fully inflate this balloon inside the urethra, in, I'm sorry, inside the bladder, but you would definitely inflate this. And after you inflate it fully, still with the same hand, you would remove that and then you would gently tug back on it, making sure that it is staying in the bladder. And now at this point, you are able to, the, the, your, the catheter is sufficiently placed in the bladder. We're seeing urine, it's suspended there because of the inflated balloon. And now we can just break all of this down. And the next thing that will happen is that this Foley bag will then I'm just going to, whoops, I'm gonna take it out of here. This whole Foley bag will then be placed under, usually under the female's right or left thigh, and then it will hang on the bed uh, by anesthesia because anesthesia needs to monitor the urine output. And that is a female urinary catheterization.